everyone, this is Zero Prime and welcome to another episode of Zero Review, a series in which I look back on the games I played on my channel and I give you my thoughts and opinions on said games. And on today's episode I'll be talking about a game that was released on the PSP and is also available on the consoles now, God of War Chain of Olympus. Now in this God of War game it takes place between God of War Ascension and the God of War 1. Which basically Kratos is, is basically been chosen is basically the chosen champion of the gods to defend the Greek world, and basically he has to save the world from everlasting night when Helios disappeared. And basically he also delves more into some characters that a little bit later on appear in the series, like with Atlas that shows the first confrontation, as in the you know mentioned in the God of War 2. And basically, there's not much else more I can say about this as it plays like any other God of War game. That basically, you, ha you, you mash buttons, you dodge, you move, you kill enemies, and gain orbs, you gain powerful relics and powerful spells, and you move on and just basically kill anything that's in your path. And basically, to some people, that especially if they play this on the console, they might say that it's a bit shorter than the other God of War games. That's because basically it was released on the PSP, so there was only limited spacing that they could do with the PSP. But basically, for, even on the PSP, it was still a fun game to play, and especially, especially fun to play, you know, a God of War game on the go. So, I definitely enjoyed it, and it was a nice touch to add a bit more story and background to Kratos and his Avengers before he became the, the God of War that ended the Greek Pantheon. So, like I said, if you find a copy of this for the console or on the PSP, I would definitely recommend you playing it and having fun with it. So, that's all the time I have for this episode, guys. So, as usual, thank you for watching and make sure to leave a comment below, subscribe for more for your update, share this on your Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and all other social medias, and don't forget to hit the like button to help out the channel and to turn on the notification bell to stay up to date on my channel. And if you guys want to help me out in some shape or form, I do have a Patreon account down below. And as usual, guys, thank you for watching, and have a pleasant day. Bye-bye.